I got tired of uh, annoying telephone calls on our landline and all the ringing and everything. Uh, so I wanted to make a circuit to block all of that. And it, it could have been very complicated and, you know, had list of approved callers and all that. I didn't really want to do that because it would never get done. So I came up with this little thing just to block the ringing, basically. So what happens when your phone rings, uh, after the first ring, the caller ID information is sent and, uh, you can read it or, you know, your caller ID can tell you who's calling. So what this circuit does is let the one ring through and then the caller ID and then it disconnects the phone line in the house from the telephone line coming in, but it doesn't hang up on them. Uh, so. What this stuff is, this is a little relay, like a switch. This connects the phone to the telephone line. Uh, and green means it's connected. And when it goes red, that means it's blocked and you can't hear any ringing. Okay. Uh, this button, I'm simulating the, the ringing, uh, which will be another circuit that I'll create next. And this button is, uh, if you pick the phone up, It'll detect that and connect you right away, even if you want to hear the ringing. Uh, so there are two timers involved. When the phone rings, this little yellow LED goes on, and that's the timer to allow the first ring and the caller ID to information to go through to the phone. Uh, this is kind of a, a, a blue LED, and this is the timer, and it goes as long as I think somebody might call and let the phone ring. And it eventually shuts off and then everything goes back to normal. So I'm just going to go through and let it do its thing without picking the phone up. And I'll just talk you through it. So here's the ring. The cycle timer starts. There's the ring timer. And we're still connected. Now the relay blocks the phone, but we're still ringing. Uh, and you can't hear the ringing. And this is the overall cycle timer. And when that's done, I'm figured like 20... 20 seconds, maybe 30, it'll stop, and then everything goes to normal, and the phone is connected back to the line. So we'll just let that stop. Okay, so there we are. Everything's back to normal. Now I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to pick up the phone after the first ring. The LED will uh, it'll go red briefly, and I'm going to pick up the phone, and it'll go green, which means everything's connected. And when everything is connected, nothing happening here is really part of the circuit anymore. It just goes through its timing and finishes. So here's the ring. We're passing the, the ring and the caller ID through. Now we're blocking. Now I'm going to pick up the phone. And we go back to a uh, phone connected to telephone line. The blue LED will go off eventually, but it doesn't matter anyway. Uh... So we'll just wait for that time. But meanwhile, right now we're talking on the phone. And we can hang up whenever we want, really. So now I, I hang up the phone. And we're still connected. Let's try it. Uh, pick up the phone while it's blocking and then hang up again. Okay. So I'm going to pick up the phone and say, oh, it's you. Somebody I don't want to talk to. Say, so hang up. And there's, they're blocked again which really is just going to hang up on them. I think that's enough explanation. The, the next go around for this will be to do the circuit to detect the ringing and the circuit to detect the phone going off hook. Uh, so thanks for watching. I think it's pretty neat. And this is what I did on my internet holiday. Bye.